OK, so this video shows you how you can transfer your photos from your Android phone or tablet to your Windows 10 or Windows 11 PC using inbuilt software. Stick around, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So this guide shows you how you can transfer your photos from your Android phone or tablet. Now, if it's an Android phone, it's likely to be something like a Samsung, a Sony, an LG, a OnePlus, an Alcatel, a Motorola, etc. As long as it's not an iPhone, then it's generally going to be an Android based phone. I do have another video which shows you how to transfer your photos from an iPhone. So go and have a look for that now. There should be a link to it in the top right hand corner right now. Or if you can't find that in the description of this video. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to make sure that we've got our charging cable, the cable that we normally plug the phone into in the wall socket to charge it. So this cable looks something like this. So you've got this connector on one end and that connector or a similar connector on the other. So what we need to do is we need to plug this end into our PC or our laptop. And then what we need to do is we need to make sure that the phone is switched on and unlocked. So there we go. I've just unlocked it and we need to make sure we're back at like the main screen there. And we need to ensure that the phone stays on at all times. So just swipe the screen every few seconds just to keep it switched on. So the next thing we need to do is we need to plug our other end of our charging cable into the phone. And then what we need to do is we need to swipe down from the top of the screen. So swipe down there and then hopefully in a second, it will tell us the different modes that we've got here. Now I've got on mine, charging this device via USB. Now I'm going to tap that. And what I need to do is I need to change it so that it's in file transfer mode. So I need to tap file transfer. OK, once it's in file transfer mode, you can leave it on this screen if you want, and then just tap sort of at the bottom of the screen away from anything just to keep the screen switched on. So uh, and the next thing I need to do is I need to go onto my computer. So click on the start button just up there. And then I need to search for photos. So on your keyboard, just type the word photos. And then hopefully after a few moments under best match, you should see photos app. Move your mouse over that left click once. Don't forget to keep tapping the phone screen occasionally away from any of those selections. I mean, if you think you're going to hit them, just press the middle button. That's it to go back to the main screen or swipe up from the bottom to go back to the main screen and just try swipe it to the left or right. Just make sure that the screen is kept on. So the next thing we want to do is want to go up to import just up there near the top right. Left click once and then we need to go down to the name of our device. Now, mine says SMG 900 F. Yours will probably say something different. This is the model number of my phone. But whatever's there, as long as you've got nothing else plugged in to your laptop, no other phones, no other iPads or USB devices, then hopefully that should be the only thing that's there. So uh, move your mouse over that left click once. And if you get this message come up, then just make sure that you've swiped down from the top of the screen and make sure you're in file transfer mode. I'm just going to come out of file transfer and go back into it and just see what happens. Let's just go back to import up the top there and then SMG900F or whatever yours says. If yours is still coming up with this message like mine, then try swiping down from the top of the screen and then just tap whatever is shown in that white bar there. Tap it again. And then try changing the mode, try tapping PTP and then let's just I'm just going to press the button on the front of the phone just to get us back to this screen or, or you can swipe up and I'm just going to go back to import again. Click on import, click on the name of my device and hopefully, yep, that's it. My pictures are now coming up. So as we can see here, there are all these pictures that I've taken. There are some pictures as well that I've had on here before that I've, I've I've already downloaded and it's not that easy to see on mine, but I've got a picture 
just here, just next to the phone. I'm just going to take the picture of the phone off just for a second, just to uh, get it out the way. Um, so I've got this picture here, which is really it's faded. And that means that it's already been downloaded to the computer. So there's no need for me to download it again. And these are all faded as well. These have already been downloaded onto the computer. So it's clever. It knows what's been downloaded and what doesn't. Now, say if you wanted to download all of these photos, you can click select all just up there and then that selects all of the photos, regardless of whether they've already been downloaded or not. Or if you just want to download the newest of the photos, you can click select new and that will select all the photos that have never been downloaded to this computer before. But what if you wanted to just select one photo? So I'm just going to download this photo of my cat. So all I need to do is it's just one solitary photo that I'm going to download. So I'm just going to put a tick in the box just to the right of the photograph. And then I'm going to click on add one item up there. Now you can select more than one if you want. You can go to another photo. Let's select that one as well. And there you go. That's just selected those two. So these two are going to be imported, but none of these at the top are. So I'm going to now click add two items just up the top there. And then it's going to ask me, where do I want to put them? Well, it's going to suggest putting them in the pictures folder. But if we want to create a new folder and put them somewhere else, we can click create a new folder, give it a name and then uh, click on import. But no, I'm just going to keep mine in the pictures folder. So uh, keeps it nice and neat, nice and simple. So click on import. And there we go. It confirms at the bottom of the screen, all set two items were successfully imported from SMG900F, that's the name of my device, to pictures. So let's just have a look, see if they have been imported. So if I go to all photos up there, yes, there they are. There's the two photos. I can also find them because this is where it's actually downloaded to them from. Don't get this confused. When it downloads, it downloads to wherever you said, like the pictures folder and the photos app just picks them up from wherever it's been downloaded. They're not duplicated. If you delete one from the photos app, it will delete from the pictures folder and vice versa. So as we can see, there you go. There's my photos just there. And if I double click on one of them, there you go. It opens up the picture of my cat in the photos app. Now, what if I want to download all of the photos that I have uh, not downloaded yet? So I'm just going to go back into photos. So I clicked on the start button, typed in photos on my keyboard and then under best match, clicked on photos app. And then I'm going to go back up to import. I've got to make sure that the phone is still switched on. So let's just uh, go back there. Yeah, it is. And I've accidentally tapped on something. So I'll go back to this main screen here, just going to tap on the screen or swipe the screen just to make sure that it, the screen stays on. Click on import and then click on the name of my device. And there we go. There's the other pictures there. So there's only three new ones now to import because I imported the other two. So I'm just going to click select new with the word three on number three in it. And then I'm going to click add three items. And then I'm going to select the folder that I want to put them in pictures. That seems fine. Click on import. And there we go. It confirms at the bottom of the screen. All set three items were successfully imported from SM G900F, which is the name of my device to pictures. So let's just go to all photos and let's just confirm that they have been downloaded. Yep, there they are. And what I'll do is I'm just going to unplug my phone. So, but first of all, I'm going to swipe down from the top of the screen, tap whatever's in that white bar there, either file transfer or P2P and tap it again. And I'm just going to put tap no data transfer. And that disconnects the phone from the uh, computer. So it only means it's charging. So I'm just going to go back to the main menu on the phone and I'm just going to disconnect the phone from the computer and as you can see with it disconnected, yep, the pictures are still there. I can click on any one of these pictures and it'll open up larger for us. And all those pictures incidentally have been downloaded to the pictures folder where I asked it to go. So I'll just show you that there. Click on the yellow folder, click on pictures just there and we should see them just. So there you go. I hope this guide helped. And if it did, please have a look in the description down below. If you're considering getting a VPN or a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, please consider 
using these links to make your subscription or purchase as it really does help support this channel. Also, if you did like this video and you found it helpful, then please consider donating by hitting the thanks button just below this video. Also, whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now covering all sorts of subjects. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.